Hi guys. I'm just wondering what the point in having a mobile phone is if you're not going to fucking answer it. Because, um, I accidentally picked up the wrong bag out of the back of Mum's car. So I tried to ring her phone five fucking times in a row and she don't answer, even though she had to stop at some traffic lights. So when she gets the nine miles home and realises she hasn't got half of her fucking dinner for tonight and she can't shout at me because I did try to ring her before she got too far but if you don't get her answer your phone that's not my fault. Anyway, I've got a toy that I forgot to bring up last night. <laughs> it's old. Um, it used to work, but the mechanism is stuck. But I think maybe a good square of WD-40 up there should free it off. Um, Basically, that's just what you can do. It won't um, bend any further, so I think the mechanism is actually uh, locked. Or something has. No, it's not safety. So yeah, I'm going to try a bit of a WD-40 on that. Fucking thing. I think it's a 177 if I remember rightly. Safety off. It's not really cocked, is it? Nope. Maybe the safety's stuck on. I don't know. But, uh, let me have a look at that. I'm wondering how long it's going to be before said phone rings. Right, what do I do with that? I've got this tub. Covered in sticky tape for some reason. Ugh, and water. But, uh, Oh, I hate doing things one-handed. Can focus on meal just to like. There we go. I'm just gonna peel off all the useless tape. So it's not actually doing anything useful. Quite a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, Ooh. found a few bits that aren't meant to be in there, like a um, crank nut and a crimp. Right, that's washer sword. So I've still got a heck of a lot to um, sort through, and the, that tub was actually rather full. <laughs> Uh, as is my pot of tools is still um, filling up and this is well partially from um, sorting out those bags of bits but most of these actually came out of if I can get it I've got to find it that pile down there so far it's taken me two hours to sort through that and I'm still going <laughs> oh dear 
I'll get there eventually. My screw tin's getting full, but I still got a way to go before that start falling off the top of it. Tub of crap, a big tub, and I've got some bits to sort through. I thought I'd keep a tub of um, dowels and a few little bits like that, just in case, because, well, for one, I know my stepdad likes to play around with things, so... Some more washers. I have to find something bigger for my nuts. And I've got another pile like this in a wooden box downstairs. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of those plastic tubs downstairs and transfer it over. Because I don't want the wooden box anyway. I may actually leave that down in the shed. Not unless I put all my heavy dralias in there. Because that's quite a sturdy box being wooden. That might be a good idea, but yeah. For now, I'll just empty all the crap out. There's my nails. I think once that pot is actually full, I'll um, stop rescuing nails. But yeah. That little tub there is just full of all sorts of odds and sods that I think, you know, might come in useful when I'm playing about. Bought the bags up from the trailer as well. Hmm, she should be home by now. Did try to find her. I did try. Right. Uh, oh. Let's check emails. Hopefully, someone is coming to pick up my blue GT tomorrow. I don't know what time though, which is why I'm just going to check emails just to see if they've uh, sent a reply. Oh, this afternoon. Oh, this afternoon. Sorry for the silence, I just want to get that reply written. I've been out for the last hour or so, so I've only just got the um, email. You want to come and collect it today? Well, this afternoon, but uh, if he gets that email in time, we can. If not, well, I've just emailed back and said, I mean, you know, all evening as well. It doesn't bother me, it don't bother me if he came at midnight, to be honest. I could film me sorting that out, but I think. Uh, Watching paint dry would be uh, a bit more interesting. Uh, and actually I'm thinking of filling a pot from that and doing it up on the table because I was laying on the floor and that was actually hurting. So uh, I'm going to make a bit of room up here. I keep hearing cars outside and it makes me wonder if it's mum returned. <laughs> no, if it was mum she'd have tooted the horn. Oh, I'll put this bike on the landing I think, out of the way. 
Now what did I do with that empty tub? Right. Washers. Check out the fucking thing. Oops. That was a bit heavier than I thought. My tub of Allen keys there. Cables. Are they brake cables? They are brake cables. Right. I can go on here. Glad I got my G-Tech charged. That can go back in the cupboard. So I've got that pot of bolts there to go through as well. I've got a lid to find for that. I've got a few bits to put in there. There's a nut. There's a nut. My tub of nuts is also getting full. Yay! <laughs> I just don't get need um <clears throat> to make a mess is what I need to do. <laughs> Caught my finger right on the edge of my tub of tools I've been collecting up out of that lot and knocked it straight off. Right, that can go with there. Screws! If I can pick up the tin because that's heavy. Oh, it's heavy now anyway. Right. There. And the nails. And these screws, these are a different type of screws. They're the ones that you could fit bolts to. And what I'll do, I'll fill that tub up and tip it out on the um, desk up here, and it'll be a bit more comfortable to work. Oh, and I better clear this bloody mess up. Allen key, Allen key. Allen key. Tell you what, I'll go through the Allen keys first. And this is all the Allen keys I've collected up <laughs> from all the shit my friend let me have. And there's probably still some more, oh, pardon me, hidden in that. And there might even be some hidden in the crap down on the trailer. La 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 la. I don't know if I'll keep any of these spares. Some of them are actually quite thick, like this one, so I might keep that one, but I might take a few over to Mum's and put in the toolboxes over there. I might do the same with some of these hexagon keys, actually. So I've got a toolbox sitting on the bench. I'll chuck some of these in there. Any more hiding? Yes, there's another one. Another one. Another couple. Another couple. <laughs> and I think I can't see them all, so I think that is it. Stuff that in the top there. I think the light's not very good down here, so I can't see it but, well. I'm just checking the spanners. There's a couple of nice sort of solid spanners there. The rest are all thin and flimsy. Oh, there's another one. Just drill bit. Right, I think. I think that's near enough. All of them, I can't see no more there. If I had credit on my phone, I would have texted his mobile phone, but I don't have credit. So I can't. There we go, box of hexagon keys so far. And then I've got that other tub up there, and then I've got what's in that toolbox. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely not short of a hexagon key or three, am I? That's not a bad thing to think. Going to be several, perhaps five mils in here, which is a. I know that one is. Which is a common bicycle size, so I'll definitely keep them. Especially the long ones. There's fucking polystyrene balls or something in here as well. It's making a mess every friggin' way. Right. 
like I said, just shovel this up in here. So, so I've got the bin beside me, I've got this bin down here as well. Let's do that. I'll just sift through that up there. I'll move my tool bit here. I've got to find some pots I can uh, put these in. Whatever's left over from this tub, you know, whatever of these is left over, I'll chuck. I just want a tub full of each. I don't know if I've got any more of those little Chinese food containers left, though. I think I've used them all or broken them or, you know, I've done something. Right. Oh. Ah, he's replied. That's right. I was actually worried he wasn't going to be able to reply in time. Um, he's just waiting for the kids to get home, which is fine. That's fine. See you later. He's offered me twenty pounds, and I'm going to take twenty pounds. I'm just going. Uh, I'll sort this pile out, then I'll go downstairs with a tub and uh, sc scrape out what's in the trailer and just take that GT just for a little test spin just to make sure the brakes aren't rubbing and whatnot and it is actually functional. So, uh, on that note, I'll talk to you all later on today. I think. Did he eat his bit of sausage? Well, I can't see it, so he must have done. Okay, so he likes sausages from the chip shop. <laughs> uh, well, I've got rid of the GT bike. That's now gone. Um, so I've got one left here to sell, which I'm going to stick up on eBay in a little while. Um, the pile has diminished quite a lot. And I'm actually getting to the point of, you know, can I really be fucking arsed anymore? <laughs> Yeah, well, I might as well do that, and then I could do the tub through there at a later date, I suppose. Oh. Uh, I did go past Black Records earlier, and um, he's had a move round. I cannot find... well, the Master System's not in the window. Actually, a lot of the stuff he had in the window isn't there, so... I don't know if he sold it, because the shop was closed. Um, or... If he's, um, you know, moved elsewhere in the shop, so I'll go in tomorrow and I'll have a look. I'm going to turn the light on because it's getting a bit dark. I'm just eating. I think I've got some meat stuck in a tooth up there because it's getting a bit sore. Same bleeding gap every time. Oh, as long as every time I eat, my nose runs like a bleeding tap. Right. I did see something uh, interesting that we, maybe in the future they'd consider putting in town. Um, I just read a news article where in Norwich they're building another um, retail park. And uh, I know there's a small one in Cromer, a little retail park. So I shared it on the Regenerate North Walsham group because... Uh, we are getting a lot of houses built in this town right now. I mean, there's um, planning permission gone in for one large housing estate. There's one currently being built. And I know there's at least a couple of proposals elsewhere in town to build more houses. So we're expanding that way. But not when it comes to shops and things. So... I shared it on the Regenerate group, basically asking, you know, is this something worth considering for the future? Because um, at the moment, if I want anything from Argos, well actually if I want anything at all, I've either got to go online 
get on a train to Norwich or get on a train to Cromer. Either way, getting anything costs me. <laughs> um, either in train fares or bloody, well, it probably cost me in petrol if I had my own car or motorbike or whatever. Or um, postage. Because um, you can't really get anything. Well, you can get things here, but we just don't have the variety, we don't have the choice. Well, not like we did back in the 1990s, anyway. Cool, I can remember growing up, we had at least four fruit and veg shops in the town centre. We had clothes shops, had all sorts of shops, fish and tackle shops. <clears throat> um, home electrical shops like Postal and Hughes, they've been in town since I can remember, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we've, it just seems like, I would say for the past, mm, Ten years, no, actually, I'd say probably for the past 15 years, the town centre has just gone downhill. Uh, interesting shop wise, we have very little. Yeah, we've got a number of bank branches, we've got a number of takeaways, various takeaways, we've got a few coffee shops and um, cafes only one restaurant that I know of and I don't mean Chinese Japanese restaurants or Indian restaurants or that I mean British based restaurants I suppose um, and that's not actually in town that's on the edge <laughs> um, until this one opens up and, and until Weatherspoons open up and we'll have probably about three uh, But I'm guessing as Weatherspoons want to move into this town as well, they can see potential. Maybe they know about the housing developments. You know, because I'm guessing they have staff or a team that do the research. And they think, yep, we've done our research. This looks like a good place to open up. That looks like a good building. We'll try and buy that building, blah, blah, blah. Now, don't they just stand there blindfolded and stick a map pin in a map randomly? Although, that would be funny if they did. <laughs> yeah. Where should we build today? Uh, doof. Oh, we're going to go there. <laughs> we'll just put a load of town names in a hat, you know, and draw it out of the hat. Um... I know I said I don't like this town, but I was born and bred here, so it is still, um, you know, my town, my hometown. Uh, and I think what saddens me is the fact that I have watched it just plummet downhill. I mean, at one point we had f one, two, three, four gas stations. We've now got one. Because... When the supermarket bought out what was Hannant's garage, um, obviously because they wanted to run the gas station side, um, and uh, the guy that ran Hannant's wanted to downgrade anyway, you know, downsize, which he has, because he still trades in motors, he still trades to this day. Um, they obviously sold fuel cheaper than all the little private businesses that was in town. There was one down this road, one where Lidl's now is. And actually there's one on my road as well, so there's one that side of me, one this side of me, and um, one at Lidl's, which is Black Cat Garage, which uh, back in the day did quite a lot of things. Used to get lollipops off the attendant, because it was, um, they had an attendant service. You didn't self-serve, they had an attendant there. Dougie was his name, and I believe he's no longer with us, if our memory serves correct. As we were talking, I think it was last year on the North Walsham Archive group. 
Because we've got a lot of history. So they've started up a history group. There is a website. And they've started the Heritage Centre, which is going to be like a museum. Uh, anyway. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, gas stations. We used to get lollies and candies and all sorts off old Dougie. He used to let us park there for free as well. <laughs> if there was space. Um, although we did... Mum and Dad used to take them in um, old T-shirts and things to use as rags. So, and I know back in the day he used to give us petrol for a bag of rags. And I ain't kidding. <laughs> Long gone are those days. But of course, private garages like that couldn't compete with the supermarkets. So eventually, the other three closed down, and lo and behold, when Sainsbury's bought what was Summerfields, which I don't think exist anymore, prices of fuel went up. <laughs> I just find that, it could just be a coincidence, but I just find it odd how all the other garages are gone, and gas stations are gone in town, and now we're left with the one that charges an arm and a leg for fuel. And it's usually one of the last in the area to uh, drop fuel prices when everywhere else starts dropping them. <sighs> anyway. It's actually quite nice, to be honest, just looking through my town's history. Um, you know, before I was born and while I was growing up. You know, remembering, oh yeah, I remember that shop. Like it was bought up the other day, um, there was a place called the Mel Pack that sold frozen food. That's all it was. Frozen food. You'd go in there and they just had all these chest freezers everywhere. And uh, that closed down. No one in the comments actually could get an exact date, but they think it was around about 96. And I think they're probably right, 95 and 96. Because I remember going in there with Mum when I was little. Um, and then someone heard it become a takeaway after that. Which um, I'd actually completely forgotten about. It become an Indian takeaway. Which didn't last long because they were closed down by health and safety. Because so many people were actually getting food poisoning from it. Uh, then it became a place called Reload, which sold used DVDs, VHS tapes, because they were still a thing back then, uh, computer games, PlayStation 2 games, because I think that was the newest console out at the time. Yeah, it closed down before the PS3 and whatnot was released. Um, used consoles, basically used entertainment, that's what it sold. It's a shame they closed, because that was a good place to go to. Oh well. Uh, we've got Cash Factory though, which pretty much does the same thing. It's got a bit more of a um, variety in there. Though. They've got a lot of... Um, they've got some um, retro consoles in there and whatnot. And actually, thinking of retro stuff, did you know vinyl records are making a comeback? I've actually seen vinyl records on sale in Sainsbury's, brand new. I wonder if they're going to ever re start reproducing record players then. Or at least the needles to fix what we is currently out in circulation. But yeah, I thought that was quite interesting how um, some of the old technology is making a comeback. I'd even heard that they're releasing music and singles on audio cassettes again, as well as the um, vinyl records. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just people feeling nostalgic. I'm full of stories tonight, aren't I? What shall I title the video? Story time? Actually, I am thinking about that title. <laughs> oh, Mum dropped off my bag of shopping, we swapped. I can't believe I did that, what a pillock. Usually I check the bags, but I actually thought I'd picked up, because in the back of the car I put my bag of stuff 
furthest right and I thought I'd grab that bag. Obviously I didn't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's sorted now. <laughs> My brother's picking up a computer monitor apparently. I don't know why, because he hasn't fit, got me the parts to put his... Um... Oh, pardon me. He hasn't got me the parts to put his PC together yet. It's still sitting under the worktop in the kitchen with about five other cases. Which I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do with yet. Um, anyway, my plan for tomorrow is to go into reload, not reload, Black Records and see if he's still got that Sega Master System. It's only going to leave me about five pounds for groceries for the week, but to be honest, I don't really need a lot. I've got stuff in the freezer. Might need to be enough, and hopefully I can sell this other bike anyway, and that'll keep me going. Um, but yeah, that is actually the last games console I want over there. If I could find a GameCube at, you know, a price I like, for example, and by a price I like, I mean cheap. <laughs> you know, cheap or free, I like those two prices. Um, because you never know, I might find a bargain somewhere. Someone just wanting something silly for it to get rid of it. Uh, so I don't think I like, I don't think I'd want a GameCube or a Dreamcast. I was trying to think of the other, the last one Sega did. <clears throat> um, enough to pay full value, if that makes sense. But like I said, if I ever come across one that's someone selling at a bargain price, then I probably would snap it up if I got spare cash. But um, yeah, I think the Master System will complete that corner for me anyway. And like I said, he's charging, or he wants £35 for it. With three games and all the necessary cables. I think there's only one control pad for it. God, I haven't used that word in ages, control pad. It's a controller these days, isn't it? Back then it was a control pad, because it was just like a little square pad. And on the Master System, you literally had your, you know, up, down, left, right, direction pad, and A and B buttons, if I remember correctly. Or was it A, B, C? Might be ABC, I can't remember. Hell, I'm going back to my childhood. I haven't had one since. But, uh, I don't actually know what they're doing on eBay. Let's just um, eBay one. Oh, eBay one. Have a search on eBay and see what they're doing. And then I'll shut up, turn the camera off, and probably call it quits for the video, because I won't be doing much else tonight. Apart from sorting screws, and like I said earlier, that'd be about as... Uh, Entertaining as watching paint dry. Okay, so here we go. Say the master system. I know Carl in Black Records does use eBay as a price guide anyway. So I'm pretty. Yeah, there's the f first one here, the first model. Uh, 35 quid, one bid, and there's one under that buy it now 60 quid, I think he's asking a bit much, although this one is boxed, see I don't really, I wouldn't know the value anyway, 17.99, console only from the look of it, yeah console only, there's another first one, 26 bids, buy it now 26 quid, 34.99, 99. buy it now, and that's with one game. See, this guy in Black Records is actually quite trustworthy. He's charging the same price, but with three games. Well, the three games were stood with it, so I presume it all came as one bundle. Okay. Yeah, we never had the Master System Mark One. We, we um, well, it was actually my brother's. He got the Mark Two. Built in Alex the Kid and Show of the Beast. Well, I presume Show of the Beast is the um, game that's included. Another one, 15 quid. 
so four ninety nine there. Yeah, I'm pretty certain what Carl's done has just gone along like on eBay, like I've done, and taken the first sort of fair price. Oh, the game gear. Forgotten about that. I've never been one for portable gaming though. Yeah. Hell, you get Scott lead for one of these. It's cool. Oh, that's the 60 hertz mod. RGB. Ooh. Okay, someone's modified it then. Yeah, well, that's all right then. But if you count postage, it would cost me more to get it off of eBay. Although for the Mark One up the top there, they've got free postage, thirty-five pounds. Where's the other one I saw? Six pounds. So that would actually cost me forty-one pounds in total. Whereas if I go and get it. From um, Black Records, I'd be saving a fiver, saving six pounds rather. Can't even count now. No, oh, I don't know. You got a joystick with it as well. It may have already sold. I don't know. You did have a Windows 10 laptop in there as well for 60 quid. Because, uh, um, you can actually go into his shop. Oops. Um, you can rent a shelf from him to put stuff on that you want to sell. Um, or you can sell you know, collectible items to him and retro items or he will sell it for you obviously with a um, or um, he'd get part of the cost of what he sells it for as well which is fair enough <laughs> so yeah, he's a pretty good bloke and then he's got a lovely little Staffordshire area usually sitting down by the bloody door <laughs> So you've got to be careful when you go in. If you don't notice he's there, you might bang the door into the poor dog. If he's got a habit of lying, especially on a sunny day, because the sun comes straight in through that window, so. What are you creating noise for? I'm going to have a clean up in here, I think. Uh, put that bloody bike out on the landing. Out of the way. Oh, speaking of bikes. Shop of rides, fine. It's got a bit of a dodgy crank arm. It's not clamping down tight enough. I think the teeth are worn, so... An option I've got there is to um, strip that crank off. Because I very much doubt I'm going to find a replacement. And perhaps... Well, actually, I don't know if a car crank is going to go in there. <clears throat> a one-piece BMX crank would. But that would look stupid. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> but uh, yeah, it is riding. Front brake works fine. Rear one shit. I was actually tempted to put the brake cable in a brand new outer, which will be easy enough because I'll leave the brake cable on and just pull the outer off. <laughs> Leaving the brake cable in the frame and then just a uh, thread of the new outer through. Might have just put a whole new bloody... Oh, that is a brand new cable, isn't it, you dipstick? <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'll cut that off. I'm not actually sure the handlebars are meant to be that shape. I've never seen any of that shape before. I think it is meant to be a straight bar. So, I'll change that. I'm actually half tempted to keep this one. I've got a soft spot for rallies. Rallies and Claude Butler's are my soft spot. And Saracen, actually. I don't own a Saracen at the minute. And I figured that when I take that reflector off, that bike might be a little bit too tall. 
But what I'm going to do, take that. these make your wheels look nice, but they're a bitch because they're aluminium. Aluminium on a brass thing does the same thing, it corrodes, and then you can't get the fucking thing undone. Number of tubes I've actually had to cut and wreck just to get them off a wheel. I'm going to take that reflector off, put the seat all the way on, and just pull that out of there and sit on it. And uh, if I can sit on it comfortably enough with the seat all the way down, then I'll keep it. <clears throat> oh, and when I put the bikes away, I think the front derailleur of the silver bike I took the seat off will fit this frame because, well, my theory is if the seat posts fit, then the bloody that tube's got to be the same size as the one on the silver bike, so the bloody derailleur should fit. And uh, a bit of black paint just to tidy up the black bracket on the derailleur if it fits, and uh, that'll be good. That'll be another part down, and that's just a chain shifters. Hmm, I'm not sure what shifters I want to go for on this. It's tempting to go on eBay and buy them, but I go down the recycle centre so much, I might as well see what comes in down there. Could put grip shifts on, but yeah, they're just boring to me. Anyway, about a 40 minute video, I think. I've rattled on for 20 minutes as it is. Yeah. I know some people don't like these chatty videos, but what I normally do when I watch vloggers on YouTube is I'll have it play in the background, you know, so I'll listen rather than watch. And if I do hear something that I think they're doing that might be interesting, then I just flick back. But usually I just have it playing in the background. Anyway, I'm going to go because uh, I need to go to the loo. I actually haven't been yet today. It's a miracle. <laughs> Finish sorting these screws out. I've got one pot left. Might as well do the bloody lot that's down there. Might as well then I just run over it with the G Tech. Might see if I can put some of the stuff in these tubs in and replace so I can get rid of these tubs. Get that bike out of the way. I don't really want to run it through here in case I get a screw or a nail in the bloody tires. I'm gonna to have to carry it. What are you doing, you muppet? Yeah, that's pretty much my evening. Charge this camera up and I'm gonna get some Lego vidges done when I can make some room up here. So I've got Four sets to review now. Yeah, yeah, fun. Anyway, <sighs> thanks a lot for watching. As always, it's much appreciated for those that do watch. Thank you. And uh, if you liked the video, then feel free to hit that like button. If you didn't and thought it was crap, then feel free to hit the dislike button. And even tell me in the comments if you want, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> the comments section is there, free for you to use. Feel free to use it. I don't know. Call me a fat git if you want. I've heard it all before. <laughs> anyway, see you all later.